producers, tell me if this sounds familiar. You have an amazing idea for a beat in your head. You can hear the melodies, the drums, everything clear as day. But the problem is you don't know how to get it out of your head and into your DAW. Maybe you don't know music theory. Maybe you don't know how to play an instrument like the keyboards. And ultimately, these things are preventing you from actually executing on that vision that you have in your head. Well, don't you worry. In today's video, I'm going to break down an amazing piece of software that will help you get these ideas out of your head and into your DAW without knowing how to play an instrument, without knowing music theory, or any of that stuff. Are you ready? Let's go. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Five Piece, producer and engineer extraordinaire. A few weeks ago, a company called Voclia reached out to me and asked to sponsor one of my videos. They really wanted to show me this interesting piece of software they have called Doubler 2. Now, some of you may recognize this software, but this is a newer version of it that's a little bit different from previous iterations. But essentially what it allows you to do is, it allows you to sing a melody or beatbox or basically use your voice on a microphone to control MIDI and to essentially control the VST plugins and other things that you have in your DAW. So instead of playing something on the keyboard, you could ultimately hum a melody and get it out. And this is amazing for those of us who don't know anything about music theory, who don't know how to play keys, or maybe we're a little sluggish on the keys, or just don't know how to play an instrument in general. In other words, if you're somebody who has ideas in your head, but has no idea how to get them out, this is the perfect tool for you. Now, the previous iteration of this product required that you buy a mic that they sell, and this mic was basically combined with the software and it really allowed you to control it better and improved on latency and other problems, but now they've done away with that and they've released the software just for us to use with whatever microphone we have on hand. And it is better if you use a dynamic microphone, just as a heads up, but you could basically use any microphone that you have to ultimately control the stuff that's in your DAW, specifically the MIDI and the plugins and stuff like that. Now, some of you guys may be wondering, well, isn't this the same as like Ableton's software? They have these melody to MIDI conversions and all this stuff. It's not the same. It is way different. This stuff happens in real time live. I'm gonna be singing and showing you exactly how this works in my own setup. And I'm sure once you see it, you're gonna see a lot of value out of this. I think this is a really interesting and inspiring creative tool that every producer should consider you know, purchasing and using to get those ideas out of your head. So let's jump on to Ableton here and let's talk about how this software works and let's start with how we set it up. So the setup process is actually pretty easy. All you need to do is have the Doubler2 software installed and you need to of course have your interface and mic set up and you're ultimately gonna click on the audio interface in the top right of your screen or maybe if the first time you're opening it, this will automatically prompt you to do this, but you have to calibrate your mic to the software. And you're ultimately gonna just go through the process, selecting your input, adjusting your gain, your preamp on your mic, and then ultimately the software is gonna calibrate your microphone. So we're gonna choose from a list of inputs, and once you've achieved the perfect level, you're just gonna go to the next step, and you're gonna just continue singing through all kinds of notes. I actually personally just sang a whole bunch of songs that I was familiar with, whether it's my own stuff or other people's songs, famous tracks, all that stuff went through it until the bar was full and once it was I knew that I was ready to get going now once you have the software installed you still have to make sure that you go into your DAW and ultimately make sure that it's able to recognize the doubler 2 as a MIDI controller that's essentially what this is it's a version of a MIDI controller that is really using your microphone and your mouth but it's no different than if you were to use a MIDI keyboard so even though I've set up the actual Doubler 2 software in the way I just discussed, I'm still gonna wanna make sure that I set this up in my DAW. And if I go to my Ableton preferences, and this will be different on every DAW, of course, but on my Ableton preferences, if I look at the link tempo and MIDI section, I'm gonna be able to see that Doubler 2 is listed as an in MIDI port. And I wanna make sure that I have track and remote set up. And by the way, if you're curious about how to set this up, Vocally has all kinds of amazing guides and helpful tips to set this up in your own setup. So so please don't worry about how I'm doing it here. This is specific to me. If you're using a different DAW, there might be a completely different process for you, but setting up the initial software is the same no matter what. Just how you execute it on your DAW is a little bit different.
different. So now that I set up Ableton to recognize the doubler too, I can actually control my MIDI channels, my VST plugins really using the doubler two software as long as I keep the plugin open. And I have it open, but it's just minimized down here. But you can see even as I'm talking, it's sort of recognizing and showing you, you know, what notes, what I'm saying is basically playing, right? And it also is interesting because it hasn't built in audio. And it's cool because they have a few different presets. So you can essentially use this in a standalone mode if you want. You don't even need to use it with the DAW. But of course, the intention of why we're using it is to use it inside of the DAW. So with that being said, if I actually go to my pluck that I have in this session, if I now take my microphone and record enable this track. Ba, 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 ba. You can see how I'm able to essentially record this and control the MIDI performance using the only thing that I have on me, which is my voice. I don't need to use my fingers on the keys or anything like that. Just make sure that I have a cool patch. I'm personally using the Arturia stuff here, the nice Roland Juno emulation here. And you can see that I can control it, but I can use any plugin. It really doesn't matter. The key here is that what is controlling the MIDI? It's the doubler two software that's allowing my voice to control the MIDI for me. And I love this because there's been beats that I started where I literally whistle. I just whistle a melody and it's not even necessarily accurate, but I'll record that whistle, I'll build a beat around it, and then I'll mute the whistle at the very end, you know? Well, this thing, I could actually whistle into Doubler 2 and make this stuff happen. It's actually extremely interesting that we're able to do that with this software. Now I'm really just scratching the surface here. So let me open up this Doubler 2 software and just take a look at some of the things that are contained within it. Now, one thing is triggers. We're actually gonna be able to train the Doubler 2 to recognize what we are doing. It's pretty intuitive and smart. So if I want, I could create a trigger. So as an example, we could use it for a bass drum and I can actually map it to a specific MIDI note. So if I actually go to my drums as an example, and this is on C3, well, I can now go to my doubler and map it to C3. And then I can actually record a take of me, let's say beatboxing, and it's going to now recognize that as a trigger. Now let's actually control the MIDI here. So now if I wanted, I can actually track a drum pattern, a kick drum pattern using, you know, my voice, using the mic, using the Doubler 2 software, and it's going to recognize that and lay it down as MIDI. So let's do this case in point. You kind of get the idea. Now, sure, things are not going to be perfect. I am not perfect when I beatbox myself. So I can even go in, of course, quantize, tighten things up and move things around. But that's not really the point. The point is not to be perfect. The point is just to be able to get the idea out, tweak it some more, and then kind of keep it moving. That's how I like to use this. I like to use it as a starting point or just a way to get things out of my head. So that's the triggers side of things. And we can, of course, map this to a bunch of different stuff and beatbox a whole bunch of different things in the process. I can beatbox snare triggers, hi-hat triggers, all different kinds of stuff. And then of course, it's going to be able to recognize that and of course, trigger the specific piece of MIDI or you know, in this case, it was the kick drum as an example, to be able to trigger that based on what I am beatboxing. Now, aside from that, we of course have the key tab and this will allow you to basically create a key restriction. So it'll essentially let you stay in a specific key. It'll recognize a specific key that you are trying to sing. So if I go up here back to my pluck and I could just choose any key, right? So let's say I wanna do D sharp minor. So now it's going to essentially try to keep me in this zone when I'm singing. It's gonna to try to almost like auto-tune, auto-correct it. And the beauty is if you don't know what key that you have, you know, if you're trying to sing in a specific key and you don't know what that key is, you can actually sing in notes. So I can click this and now I can sing into it. And when I sing into it, what's gonna happen is it's gonna to start to recognize what I'm singing. Ba, 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 ba. So as you can see, it's now isolated those notes, right? These notes that are red, it's showing me what I sung. You know, it's gonna basically be trying to keep me in this key as much as possible. Now, this is obviously me doing it manually, but I can of course choose, 
you know, the key, like I'm saying here, and there's a whole bunch of keys, and I believe they're going to be expanding this as time goes on. But you can see how this is extremely useful. So now it's able to keep me in this particular key that I want to be in. And, you know, I can now sing that out and actually control my melody, right? So a uh, case in point. Ba, 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 ba. So now if I want it, I can actually just tighten the loop and just beatbox, let's say, a little bit of a melody. So I got the melody here. I can now just open it up and tighten things up a little bit because again, my performance may not have been the best. Right, and the cool thing is, even though I, I hum something, I can actually get rid of some of this stuff. You know, I'm gonna edit my MIDI, right? I would do this if I was playing it as well, by the way, no different. Right, just tightening things up really quickly. And you kind of get the point. You're seeing how I'm controlling this stuff. And of course, this is just a single note lead line. And I'm sure you're wondering, well, what about chords? Well, hey, man, vocally has got you. Five pieces got you. OK, if I go to this chords tab, this is really interesting. I can map specific notes. So if I were to sing a C as an example, I can actually make it sing a chord instead. So I've turned on my chords here. That's the first step. And then I can actually go in and choose, you know, what chord do I want each note to correspond to, whether it's a C or even an F major or just a different one altogether. It's really going to boil down to what notes are you comfortable singing well, which notes can you actually just get out properly, and then can you use that to trigger something else, right? So as an example, let's just do this. I'll map a few of these to just different chords or, you know what, I'm actually going to just leave them. Let's just see what happens. Whatever I sing may or may not, may not make sense, but let's just try. Bye. So you get the idea. You can see how I'm able to trigger these different chords using my voice. And hopefully my voice was not too overpowering, but you know, just kind of doing this stuff, controlling this MIDI. And whether I want to play individual notes or chords, you know, I can do both. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with this software. It's a really amazing piece of software. And now that they've allowed you to use any mic with it, I think this really opens the playing field and makes it really useful for all of us out there that are making tracks and want to get these ideas out of our heads. Now, even though this is a sponsored video, I want to make sure that you guys know I actually reject most sponsorship inquiries, but I think Vocally has done an incredible job with this piece of software, this Doubler 2 software. They're obviously listening to their consumers because before they were selling this with a mic that you also had to buy. Now they've opened up the playing field so that anybody with a mic can use it. And I think that's incredibly important. They're obviously trying to empower creators like you and me and I love that about them. So if you're considering checking out this software, if you want to try it out, if you want to buy it, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Please use my link if you can. It not only helps support my channel, but it shows Vocalia that you are actually coming through this video specifically. And I appreciate you all for doing that. If you haven't done so already, please smash that like button until it turns blue. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing once again. I drop a new piece of content every single week, always focused on helping you sound better and helping you make more money with your music. I'm looking forward to helping you guys again in a future video. All right. Peace. Five.